Hi, I'm Rob Sauerhaft, the Managing Editor of Equipment for Golf Magazine here at World Golf Village Resort in St. Augustine, Florida, where we are conducting Club Test 2017. This is actually the 25th anniversary of Club Test, and this year we will be testing more than 100 models in six different categories. This year we tested more than two dozen iron models, and regardless of whether you're talking about better player irons or game improvement irons or max game improvement irons, companies are shrinking the package but increasing the forgiveness. To find out more about irons, we spoke to our Club Testers. I can't say that I've really hit a bad iron all week. I mean, they're really getting dialed in. The thing that's been really surprising in a good way is how beautifully balanced many of them are, how beautifully the weighting is set up. There is now a game improvement iron that fits just about every need and every desire of a golfer who's looking for extra improvement and a little bit more feel and feedback. The lofts are better set throughout the bag and are more aggressive so you get better distance and they have better workability in both directions. I've played players' irons and blades in the past, and it was really eye-opening for me to find a game improvement iron that still gave me the feel and the playability that I wanted, but yet covered up some of the misses. I think the game improvement irons are what I'm gonna look for the next set of clubs I get, especially a couple with the graphite shafts. I was pleasantly surprised at how stable they were and how good they were at contact. Category as a whole is becoming more focused. Uh, each iron is becoming better and better, uh, where before there was a wide disparity. It's now more of a personal choice to what iron would be best for me. You can still get a lot of feel that's rewarding in a better player's kind of way, but in a game improvement iron. There are lots of sets out there with moderate levels of offset, club heads that aren't overly large, and forgiveness that's definitely more than the better players. Almost all of the irons look like they could have been better player irons. The head sizes have gotten much smaller. The cosmetics are much cleaner. And I have to say, I don't really want to go and hit better player irons when I can hit smallish size game improvement irons that help me hit the ball up in the air, that have perimeter weighting, things that make them more forgiving. The biggest takeaway from the better player irons category is that they were easier to hit and control, yet allow the player to work the ball a little bit from side to side and flight it up and down. So you still have that bit of control that you want, but they offer you some forgiveness so you don't have to be perfect all the time. Manufacturers have been going back to a little bit more of a traditional blade look. Shorter club length, rounded in the head. It had a little bit more of a clean, simple look that a lot of the younger generation have been drawn towards. The longer irons typically have been harder to hit, and this year we're seeing a little bit more sole weight, a little better launch condition, and a little bit more spin. We test a lot of players' forged cavity backs. Even though they're all within the same category, the spin profile is very different, the feel is very different, and the launch is very different. In lieu of the channel with a trampoline effect, manufacturers are moving towards a bigger center weight that radiates out across the club face so that the club face is more usable across the entirety. If you hit it on the toe or on the heel, it's not going to do anything surprising. It's no longer that I have to sacrifice something just to play for a look, just to play for a feel, and I have to alter my swing. No, figure out your swing and you can find something that will work for you this year. In comparison to past years, the iron sets seem to be mostly all irons. There isn't the inclusion of hybrids for the longer irons. It allows consumers to choose their own hybrids to fit into a set. In the max game improvement category, I found that some clubs gave you better forgiveness but weren't quite as long as the other clubs. But you are not missing, or if you're missing, you're not missing by much. Category in itself really wants to eliminate side spin which is great, I think, for almost all players. It's so beneficial for us to be able to just have an iron that will go straight. You hit them and you know by your feel that it's gonna want to fade or it's gonna want to draw, and they want to hold the line. The whole category was impressive to me this year. Anybody can hit these things. I mean, you can be a beginner and hit these clubs well. They're very forgiving. Ball goes straight up in the air, decent distance. The top sight lines have been shrunk. They're much thinner, they are more attractive, which gives me as a little bit better golfer more confidence that I can hit it. I think they're gonna help generate more people wanting to play golf.